in this video I want to explain and show you how you can add a countdown timer widget to your WordPress website with Elementor and it's very easy to do and I will also explain what the benefits are of using a countdown timer on your website. As you can see over here I have opened up the Elementor editor for a random page on my website and first thing you need to do is you need to go over to the menu on the left you can click on this icon over here at the top in the corner at the right if you click on it you can search for widgets or you can scroll down and you can scroll through all the widgets that are available and of course if you use the Elementor Pro version like I do then you have a lot of extra widgets available so to add the countdown timer widget to your canvas you can add a new column in this case I choose one column then search for the countdown timer so drag it into the column and as you can see by default nothing is visible yet and that is because my background of the website is white and by default the background of the widget and also the text inside of it is white so to change that you can go to the style settings click on it then go to the background color option and over here you can select another color so for example you can set it to something like this and now you can see everything becomes visible now I go to the content tab and let me explain a couple of basic settings first so first thing is over here you have type option and now it's set to due date as you can see you can click on this arrow and if you click on it you can set it to evergreen timer as well so it depends on what you prefer with the evergreen timer it just counts down from a certain amount of time that you set up from the moment a visitor will come to your website and with the due date it's set to a fixed date so in that case when the date expires you can set up the actions after expire and I will explain that in a couple of seconds so in my case I set it to due date and over here you can see the due date as well and you can select it so for example if I want this timer to end on the 10th of August then I can set it like this and over here you can set up the time as well so by default it's set to this time but if you want you can select another time as well so that way you can set up the due date and the time for the countdown timer over here you have the view option now by default it's set to block but if you click on it you can also set it to inline in that case it looks like this so of course it depends on what you prefer but I'll set it back to block and over here you have a couple of options to manage what you want to display with the countdown timer so by default all options are uh, available it's days hours minutes and seconds but if for example you want to hide the seconds and you only want to display the days hours and minutes then you can just deselect this option now you can see that the seconds are hidden and all the other things are visible so that way you can manage what you want to see in the timer and the option below is show label this refers to the text that is displayed below so for example if I hide it you can see and if I enable the option now you can see it's back again you can also set up a custom label if you want to then you can switch this on and over here you can set up things that you want to display or how you want to call it actually so change that as well and over here the last option that you have is the actions after expire and if you click on the plus icon you can see three different options that you can choose from the first one is redirect so that means that you can set up a redirect of course it will redirect to another URL that you can set up so if I click on it now you can see the redirect URL so you can also set up multiple actions if you want to it depends on what you prefer another option is hide so if you click this one then after the date expires the countdown timer will be hidden and the last option and the last option that you have is show message and if you click this then you can enter a message over here and after the date has been expired then this message will be displayed instead of the timer so there are the basic things that you need to know about this timer it's very straightforward it's very easy to do and Another thing I want to mention is over here at the style settings, here you can do all the, as the name already implies, you can do all the style settings. So you can change the color, you can change the font, you can change the size. Basically everything that you want, you can adjust it according to your wishes. 
can also set up the style settings for the message if you set, uh, if you have selected that option then over here you can set set up how you want the message to be displayed in terms of the, the, the text color typography and everything else so i hope everything is clear and now let me quickly explain what the benefits are of using a countdown timer widget because in online marketing it's a very common tool that is used to create urgency and to boost conversion rates they serve as visual indicators that display the remaining time until a specific event offer or deadline expires they also have proven to be effective in driving conversions increasing engagement and creating a sense of urgency as i already mentioned so if you're using elementor feel free to try it out test it and see what your experiences are when you use the countdown timer in your online marketing strategies so i hope everything is clear thanks for watching support the channel by liking the video also subscribe hit the notification bell if you want to stay up to date on new videos that will be uploaded have a nice day and i'll see you back again in the next video